This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman will news report today, April 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had five M-class solar flares in the last 24 hours. Two at the end of the day yesterday with an M1.6 here, generated by a sunspot group, AR3638, which was a semi-complex sunspot group. It's now just Alpha Beta but did generate an M1.6 followed by an M1 generated by a sunspot group AR3645. I believe that's one of the only complex sunspots left on our solar disk. Today we've had three large M flares. The day started at around 3 UTC time with an M3.5 solar flare. That was followed up at 8 UTC time, about 1 in the morning central here, by another M3 solar flare, 3.02 here on GOES X-ray flux. And then we have just had an M2.9 or 3.0, depending on who you ask. That was generated by a sunspot AR3638. It was a complex sunspot. It is going around the limb currently and should be, well, out of harm's way shortly unless it blows beforehand. Now, although we're still vulnerable here to sunspot group AR3638, it's no longer complex. Well, we had sunspot group AR3654 come around the limb and just was named yesterday. It's already Thrown off an M3.5 here at 3 UTC time and an M3.0 at 8 UTC time. And I will show you that right now. We're going to have to be dealing with that for the next 11 days. Heading over to Space Weather Live, we have a 75% chance of M flare. Let's make it 100%, 20% chance of an X class solar flare. We see the flares that hit at the end of the day, the 1.6 here at a 3638, no longer complex, just alpha beta. The next M flare also right before the turn of the day, 0100 UTC time. An M1 out of a complex sunspot, it's almost around the limb, 3645. And then we see one of the newly named sunspots, AR3654, pop off at 3 UTC time with what is being called here an M3.5, but it was really an M3.64. Now that's to be followed by that same sunspot that's just come around the limb and been named that we'll have to deal with for the next 11 days or so. Uh, and it created another M3 at 8 UTC time. That was just followed up just a few moments ago by a solar flare out of sunspot AR3645. They did have it coming out of AR3638. And I just opened this, so they have switched it. I believe it's still 3638, but they're calling it 3645 now. They did switch that. They're calling it an M2.9. They were calling it an M3. This is Space Weather Live. Over to HMI Intensigram here. We have 15 Earth-facing sunspot groups. The ones we're worried about currently are AR3654 that delivered the M3.5 and M3.0 at 3 and 8 UTC time. We're also worried about 3645 here. Now, they had, again, generated that last M2.930 M flare. Uh, from 3638, they've switched it to 3645. Although, in my opinion, and y'all will soon see it, it looks like it comes out of 3638 as well. Now, AR3638 is definitely responsible for the 1.6 M flare that came out late yesterday. And AR3645 is the 
only semi-complex sunspot earth facing it is alpha beta gamma and it's headed for that limb where sometimes it blows and it's very geoeffective towards earth moving over to go solar ultraviolet imager 195 angstrom so you can see that flare it looks like it comes out of ar 3638 just as i said although 3645 still looks like it's having activity at the same time these may have been more sympathetic solar flares i.e simultaneous solar flares remember we do have that coral hole that was earth facing and more coral hole coming to be earth facing so we should see an uptick in solar winds sometime later today into tomorrow moving over to sto ladies and gentlemen i am going to show you all the first two explosions here see if i can get my cursor down so we can see the times here let's move on into the 23rd here all right moving into the 23rd the first one will be at 3 utc time and that's going to be out of 3654 over on the left. And you just saw it happen. Let's watch that one more time. 3 UTC time. Bang, right there it was. It's actually a film interruption here. And this is, I guess, the sympathetic quartet of four solar flares, including the film interruption that happened at 3 UTC time. Now, the next thing we're looking for is what happened at 8 UTC time. Now, we're going to be able to nail that one as well. That was out of 3654 as well. So, we're looking over to the left here, and there it went. That was the 3 0. The first one was the 3 5. I believe the 3 5 happened when we had the quartet of sympathetic solar flares and filament eruptions. Now, we won't be able to see the latest on this, but we just saw the latest on Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager. This is STO 193 angstroms on the left and 171 on the right. All right, moving over to our D Region Absorption Prediction Center. We see we're running a really strong C baseline, so everyone's getting plenty of radiation all over the globe. And we're looking for 17. 45-ish, and that's going to pop off right over the U.S., the Caribbean, parts of Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, uh, all of Central America, which is North America, obviously, and most of the United States. A dead hit that was either the 2.9 or 3.0 generated from AR3638 or AR3645, depending on who you ask. Again, it looked like another sympathetic solar flare duel. Over to Lasco C3, really nothing happens at the time it's supposed to. We see an impact around 3 on the camera there. Nothing at 12. And then they take 5 hours away here. See if we can stop this. Let's see. They move from what looks like about 15, 30 to 20 so about 1554 to 1954 they've removed four hours of data there and that would be uh well when our m3 or 2.9 solar flare would have come out of this area either ar 3638 or ar 3645 but they just removed four hours of data so we have no idea what happened we don't even know if this data is from this year, based on their mistake the other day that we did catch. Taking a look at the estimated planetary K index, NASA's and NOAA's new toy that we paid tens of thousands of dollars to revamp. No solar activity over the last two days. If you will call the EESA, called for 44 centimeters of plasma cubed. And that just did not happen. The most activity we've seen today is a 2.33, meaning we've seen no solar winds and no plasma thus far. Let's take a look at Discover and verify that. All right, taking a look at Discover, we have plasma all over the place, but these big peaks are only 1.59. The biggest peak is a 5.5, I believe, 5.38, 5.3, maybe a 5.5 in here. Uh, what I would like to say is there's been over two hours of data missing up here, and you can't 
actually see any of this. Your cursor won't move over any of it with this data up here missing. We have a really strange abnormality here. We have winds that were at 383 that moved up to 530. That's a half a million miles an hour for about an hour and a half here. And right before that, they removed about three hours of data. So that's quite a jump in solar winds there. Hasn't been reflected on the KP index. 530 is not exceptionally strong. You'll see that plasma did go down at that time, but plasma peaked out at 5.5. Uh, I can verify that this was a real event here by looking at the temperature, because the temperature spiked when the solar winds spiked for right around an hour plus. Very scary. I don't know what caused that. But generally, there's no solar weather whatsoever today. No plasma and that one hour of solar wind spiking. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, 15 sunspot groups earth facing. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more coming around the bend here. It's going to be a heck of an April, May. Y'all. You know, Keep your tinfoil hats on because these 15 sunspots aren't the only ones we have to deal with. We have seven more on the way. Now, hopefully we'll see y'all at World News Report 1, which is our other channel. If you'll type that into the search engine, at World News Report 1. And we'll see y'all tonight on our live Space Weather Wrap-Up about 9.30 Central Time. This is STO HMI magnetogram. You can see this mess over here, which includes AR3645, more complex, and AR3638, which appears to be the culprit, but that's not what NOAA and NASA are saying. And this doesn't look very complex, but the problem I see here is this is AR3654, and it looks like the white is over the black in the Southern Hemisphere, which would make it a reverse polarity sunspot. A rarity, according to NOAA and NASA, but not so rare at all anymore. This might have to do with the poles flipping on our sun, which is probably already starting. Soho 284 angstroms, taken at 7.06 central time this morning, guys. You can see those coral holes that are earth-facing. We should see an uptick in solar winds, which means an uptick perhaps in earthquake and volcanic activity. This is that sunspot that has moved further closer to the limb. This is AR3654. It's popped off two large inflares, a 3.0 and a 3.5 already today. You have to keep an eye on this bad boy for sure. And with five inflares and a filament eruption, all directly earth-facing, you would think that NASA would have modeled something Thus far, nothing has been modeled. They still have the plasma hitting us on the 24th that they somehow guessed seven days ago would hit us on the 24th, although they said it was generated only three days ago. So I'm very, very confused. It also seems to last a lot longer, two, two maybe three days. Now, they have the main part of the flare going south of Earth. It was a direct hit yesterday. But please notice how the flare becomes stronger as it moves away from the source. That shouldn't happen unless it's encountering another source. Now there's papers out today saying that they have found a large planet 9 on the very far outskirts of our solar system. Now we'll have that up next. So in closing, three inflares today, five in the last 24 hours. We'll have a complete solar weather wrap-up at 9.30 Central tonight on our other station at World News Report 1. Hope to see you there. God bless. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.